maybe I should have taken a before video, but I forgot. Camera speed. Sound production, take one. I'm talking really soft right now because it's literally two in the morning. I bought a new product today from Ulta. It's something that I'd never even heard of, um, but it's been out for a while. And as you can see, I have a bunch of pink little dots all over my face. And that is because I am trying out the Mario Badesco Drying Lotion. You dab it on your skin with a cotton swab and you let it dry wait overnight and then rinse it off in the morning. It's supposed to like clear up your acne. My skin is definitely retaliating. We're trying to fix that. I'm really just worried about all of this. I have really bad cystic acne on my jawline area and that is where the majority of my acne is, but all of these on the rest of my face are just like really, really small little bumps. So I'm wondering if that will help those as well. This is night one and we will check back in the morning. Sorry, the dryer is happening in the background, but right now I have on these patches, just on the bigger spots down here. They are also Mario Badesco. They are the drying patches. As a lot of you may or may not know, pimple patches are really big right now and there's a lot of them out there that are good and a lot of them out there that are just trying to get on the train and they're bad for example the clarisil or whatever they're called those are horrible they don't help they don't do anything and they like rip your hairs off of your face and it hurts they don't do anything so don't buy those but anyways i have the on these mario badesco little patches you're supposed to use the two together putting on the pink drying stuff on your face at night and then in the morning after you wash it off wearing these throughout the day or whatever, just so it avoids ticking. They also have salicylic acid in them, so they're simultaneously treating while also just chilling on your face, which is really nice. bacteria in there and making it worse so now it's time to put on the patches literally basically invisible like you can't even see the one that i have right here and then i have this, like five right here good morning it is morning four wash all of this off now I know this looks super red on camera, but these are night and day better than what they were a few days ago. So of course, I'm gonna go in, put more drying patches on. This is with the current condition of the acne that is on my skin that is left. For the most part, the rest of my skin is pretty clear. Any of the other red spots are really honestly just like scarring and that is very unfortunate for me. And this is really all we have to work with. And honestly, I don't think it would have gone away as quickly if I wasn't using these two things as a combo. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face and then I'm gonna put on another round of the drying lotion. Hopefully, most of this is cleared up by the next day or two. 
It is a couple days later. I have continued to use the Mario Badesco drying lotion and the patches. This is what my skin currently looks like. It looks much, much better. The drying lotion and the patches in tandem, honestly, I wouldn't believe they work. I think that you know, if you had a better skincare routine than I did, honestly, it'd probably work a lot better. I probably just need to find an all around new skincare products to use, but I'm not mad at the results, honestly. As for the rest of my face, the rest of my face is pretty clear. It takes a little bit longer to clear up like the cystic acne on my chin, but normal acne that was on my face is was pretty much gone after like two days. You know? I think you should go to your local Ulta or Sephora, wherever they sell this, and you guys should pick it up, honestly, because I highly recommend it. I'm gonna keep using it, and I think this would be a repurchase for me. And here are the before and after pictures. Before is on the left, and after is on the right. That's all that I got, so I give it an A+, plus, honestly. Thank you guys so much for watching. Tune in for more videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.